It's time for that monthly grocery trip, y'all. Hello everybody, I just got back from the store. I have been out for, I don't know, a few hours and just got everything laid out for y'all. So let's see what I got. All right, so we're gonna get started with what I got at Dollar General. Now, these were on sale. I wanna say the Crush, the Two Crush, and the, um, what is that called? The Starry. This is like new, something we've never even tried before. All three of those cost three for $11. And then the Dr. Pepper and the A&W was three for $14, which totaled me at $25. Today is Saturday, so I had that five off of $25. So I paid $20 for all of this. Then we'll move over to all these. So I got six gallons of water. I got four loaves of bread. Um, we do freeze these. So I went ahead and got four to try to make it to where we won't have to go to the store next week. I got three things of turkey sticks. I got three things of teriyaki um, noodles. These my son likes, my oldest. I got these wafer rolls and the peanut clusters and dark chocolate. And then these were dark chocolate wafers. I got all three of those for like a gift basket that I'm putting together. I got four things of cornbread mix. I got some cooking spray. I got two things of mini marshmallows Let me, and then two things of brown sugar. So I got two of those because I am planning on lots of cookies. I'm going to be gifting cookies this year. So I got all of that. Then I also got three, the white, red, and green cookie um, decorating things. I really did not want to pay the prices for these, but we pay for memories, you know. I got three packs of chocolate chips. I got two things of vanilla pudding because my hubby is making banana pudding again. Did I? Yeah, that was a vanilla pudding. We're making banana pudding. And then I got some sweet and low packets, two things of ketchup, this big old thing of ranch. If you watched my haul last month, you seen that I found out that they sold it in bulk, like a bulk size. And that size lasted us the whole month. So that was awesome. So I knew now that I only need to buy one for a month. I got a I got, let me put that over there with that because I have more of those. I got four cans of French style green beans, some canola oil, some zesty Italian dressing. I found a crock pot chicken recipe that I had made with this and it was super good. So I will be sharing that with you guys here soon. Um, some oranges. Three pizzas, the cheap ones, because you know we on a budget. And that's everything over here. So now we're going to move on over here. So I have gotten these three different kinds. I got French vanilla, caramel, and gingerbread um, coffee. Now, I usually get Green Mountain, which I have not tried anything else because I really like Green Mountain. But we need to cut cost everywhere we can. So I am going to attempt to like this. We have honey mustard, two of them. Now we use these for dip, not like dressing like it says. Uh, the like honey mustard dip is more expensive. Plus, I don't think it tastes as good. So we got these. I got three of these chocolate syrups. We got a thing of relish. Two things of grapes because my four-year-old is on a peanut butter grapes. Two things of grape jelly because my four-year-old is on a peanut butter kick. Uh, a can of baked beans, a can of pasta sauce, can of tomato paste, some salt because we finally ran out, paprika so we don't run out, and then instead of buying uh, beef broth, I'm going to attempt to try these out to save money. So we're going to got that. I got these pasta rings and meatballs and spaghetti and 
meat sauce. This is just for like if I'm running behind but the kids need to eat type of thing. Um, some bread crumbs and two cans of tom diced tomatoes. My husband can't live without his Miracle Whip so we got that. And now we're on to like the meat stuff that I got at Aldi's. So I found these holiday nuggets. So I decided to try those out for the kids. I got some meatballs. I got two things of turkey kielbasas. I got a thing of pork loin back there. I got a sausage roll. So I want to do like a um, a Christmas breakfast casserole this year so I got that some pork chops some chicken fries and some french fries now we're gonna come over here this is like the snacky stuff so but I did get a turkey this is for don't mind the dishes over there anyway so the I got the turkey for Christmas I saw this I think I believe this was like three dollars for this big old bag of uh, dog biscuits and I thought they were super cute so I got these for my little boy and then we got some chocolate pudding vanilla pudding jello we got three things of applesauce I got these sticks and cheese sauce my four-year-old loves these you know, we got the Pop-Tarts. These are for really my two older boys because, you know, the name brand I have to get for um, my dairy-free or he's not completely dairy-free anymore. We're inching into dairy, but I'm still keeping as much as I can dairy-free for him. We got some gummies and then we got three boxes of these vanilla wafers. Two is for the vanilla, uh, the pudding that we're making, and one is for the kids to snack on. And then we got these vegetable rounds just for an easy lunch. You know, we do like homemade lunchables with those, even like tuna salad or chicken salad. You know, they're awesome to have. Uh, so we don't usually buy this, but I know my son would be happy to have these. So I grabbed those for him, and then we got two bags of potato chips. I forgot to say that I paid $2.58.44 at Aldi's. So we're on to the Martins haul. So I grabbed two bags of green grapes. These were on sale for $1.47 a pound, which is the cheapest you can find around here. I got two packs of ground beef. These are each six, almost seven pounds each. Each one will make us uh, four meals. So that's about eight meals. And I paid $20 each for them. I got four packs of chicken breast and each pack of these will feed us twice. And they, this is the price, but I had a coupon that made it $1.99 a pound. So I did save an extra 50 cents a pound on each one of these. Um, I got these two boxes of eight count pop tarts. Sorry about that. I am back now. So yes, I got two packs of these eight count pop tarts, which equal out to be 16 count, which at Walmart, this is about $5, but I paid four for these. So I saved about a dollar. And then I am trying out uh, different types of coffee to try to save money. So I grabbed this at Martin's this week. This was $3.88 with a coupon. I could only get one, but figured it was worth a try. And then I grabbed all these boxed cakes and brownies. I found some cookie recipes with brownie mix that I want to try out. Plus we got a few birthdays coming up and these were on sale eight for $7. So it was like a no brainer. And this is the brand that we buy because of their lack of use of dairy. So this is everything I got at Martin's and I paid 90 Six eleven for this. No, I lied. Ninety eight eleven for all of it, but it's sixteen nights of food, so that's pretty awesome. Also, after I left Aldi's, I not Aldi. Sorry, this is Martin's. After I left Martin's, I had earned another twenty cents off a gallon of gas, which I've already had twenty cents, so I was able to go and redeem forty cents off a gallon which made me pay 275 a gallon so remember you guys when you're crunching money and trying to save don't forget those rewards uh 
Okay, so it's the next day. We ended up not going to Walmart yesterday because we took the boys to see Santa, but we're back with Walmart. So we got a bag of onions, some bananas, carrots, whole wheat bread, three loaves of that. And remember, we do freeze them. That's why I got so many. I got blocked cheese and then I got sliced cheese. I got two dozen of eggs. I got two of the boy, um, my two year old's yogurt. I only got two, hoping that maybe these will be on sale at Martin's tomorrow, uh, not tomorrow, but next week. Hoping so I don't have to pay that crazy price for that. I got a tub of yogurt for the rest of my kids. We got two things of peanut butter. Let's come back over here. They were like cleaned out, so I only was able to get this. I usually get the uh, four box count, but this is only the two. So I got these uh, cereal bars. I got two of the blueberry frosted mini wheats. I got a box of Najamas. Now these Najamas, I actually was able to get a $6 coupon on that from the, um, from their website. So if you buy these, check out their website. I got two of boxes of the Cheerios and then we'll get to our veggies. So I got one, two, three, four of these sliced carrots, six of Brussels sprouts, four of the peas and carrot mix, six of the broccoli cuts, and I got two of these stir fry packs, and I got two of this cut okra. And then over here we got four of the soy milk, and we got four different kinds of juice. So I got the apple, raspberry, fruit punch. I've actually never noticed fruit punch and 100% juice before, so I figured we'll try that. I got berry and I got mango. We have eight little packs of the Coors um, rice. If you don't know that Walmart gives money back on items now, so I was able to get $2 back on these four and then on Ibotta I got $2 back on these four. So I ended up only paying $6 for all eight of these, so that was awesome. We got three packs of hot dogs, and then I got three packs of the sausage links. Got this multi-pack of the granola bars. And then we got two of these cheese crackers. These were supposed to be the um, multi-pack, but they substituted for two packs of the cheese, which was actually more crackers for our buck but also those are my son's favorite so awesome for that we got another box of pancakes we got two things of creamer two things of the sugar-free syrup a thing of butter back there we got some coconut milk for my dairy-free pumpkin pie that i'm making for christmas I got this big old thing of hot cocoa mix. I got some plans for that. I've seen some like cookie recipes for this. Plus I want to do like a crock pot thing. I don't know. And um, I'm making like little gift bags. I got this box of s'mores pop tarts for my hubby. He requested those. And then these are the kids and hubby's favorite. These honey buns. I got two boxes of that. Got this little pack of crack um crackers no cookies and we did get some disposable coffee cups i figured the kids would like to have these with a hot cocoa so i grabbed that and then we got our propel we got five packs of that and this i also got a dollar back on each one on ibotta we got this 10 count of the mini muffins and then this is like all extra stuff for um little Christmas um the Christmas Eve box and stocking so I got three of these pixie sticks two things of skittles a chocolate bar two things of ring pops and the dum dums so I also ran to Dollar Tree while this was out so I figured I'd share that with you so I just got these little um peppermint sticks 
I got these little cookie containers. I thought they were so cute and I needed two baskets for gift baskets that I was going to make and then I wanted one for myself. These are the different designs they had. I actually got one of each one. This one I got for myself and then I got these cookies for Santa. This one I had gotten for a gift basket to give away and then I got this one that says candy cane, hot chocolate, and marshmallows. Let me turn it around for you. I thought that one was cute too. Um, I figured why get those like little holiday buckets when I can get them a container and they can actually use it after they get their gift. So I figured that was a better uh, buy. And then I got a pack of bows. I got these two little like uh, gourmet, I guess, popcorn bags. And then I got two things of cotton candy like snowballs i thought that was cute and then i got this to help decorate my baskets that i'm making and this is what i was super excited about i'm gonna add these to stockings um but i had gotten this for scorpio i got gemini and i got taurus and then I found these, which I've never seen these at the Dollar Tree. Maybe I don't get out much with all the kids anymore. But I would see these like in holiday themed, not in like an everyday theme. So I got the emoji one, which they're like little emojis and they come with stickers. And my kids love stickers so you can like dress up their faces and then I got the funny face book for them. And I'm going to probably just add this to their Christmas, uh, probably their stockings. I thought they were cute. So, yes, y'all. I, I think, yes, I showed you everything. All right, y'all. So that's it for this video. I wanted to tell you guys that I did spend at Walmart 307 golly you know so i did the math and added everything up and total between all the stores was 684 dollars but that's for the whole month so i gotta get myself together and be like yeah that's for the whole month um i try to keep our budget under 900 so we still have some to work with really if everything goes as to plan we should only need more fruits and veggies maybe probably more bread we're gonna need more milk um but that's about it um i'm thinking about making like thursdays our grocery haul day that way you guys can continue to follow and see how we stay on budget and if we don't stay on budget then the next month I'll share with you guys what I'm doing to try to do better and keep it within our budget. That's I'm constantly trying to move toward our budget more and more. Um, just like this month, I didn't get the name brand coffee that I usually get or didn't get the regular beef broth that I normally get. So I make little changes like that every month and I'm probably going to continue to make little changes like that until there is no more changes to make. Does that make sense? So... That's it for this video, y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, continue to simply live your best life. Bye-bye.